and my YouTube family and welcome to my channel. I just want to show you guys Poppy's little area here. I just cleaned up the mess. <laughs> he has so many toys that he has his own toy basket where I keep all his toys and toys that were mine that he kind of took over. I made him that new pillow down there because his old girlfriend, we call his pillows his girlfriend because he's a little humper, but yeah, he's got all those toys. He's a spoiled little guy, and he's got his leopard print um, bed. It's his little dome bed I got him at TJ Maxx, and it was the best purchase I ever made. He loves it. He feels safe and secure in here, so when I go on vacation, you know, obviously Poppy comes with me, and if I bring this, he feels at home, you know. I actually folded this up and brought it to California with us. I think I did. Or no, 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 we got him a bed. Because this wouldn't fit in my suitcase. You want to play? Yeah, this is the toy that Teresa got him. He, <laughs> he totaled it. It's one of his favorite toys. Okay, Cuckoo. Okay, guys. What I want to talk about today is actually a lipstick... I guess makeup storage in general. I have done a vanity tour here on YouTube, which I'll probably do another one after I redo everything, like an updated tour, because there's quite a bit of stuff that's been added, you know, stuff like that. Oh, but my lipsticks and my lip glosses are getting out of control. Right, boobs? Yeah, they are. My vanity is a mess right now, so please excuse it. Um, I've been stacking all the new stuff that I have been, you know, getting and buying in a box, and that's kind of what's all on, what's all out on top of the vanity. Um, so, you guys know, I, I haven't done a lips, lip gloss collection video yet, so I will do that, um, pretty soon. It's my brush carrier, one of them. But this is where I keep my lip glosses, most of them. A lot of them are in these drawers, too. I have to figure out. I mean, this isn't bad. I don't mind this. It's the lipsticks that are getting crazy. Um, so, I had the idea to take my organization drawer. I, I kept my papers and my, you know, my some craft stuff and art stuff and glue and all that good stuff in here. And it was right behind the tree. Yeah, I know. I haven't taken my tree down yet, you guys. I got sick. I've been sick for almost a week now. I have not have the motivation to take that thing down, but I'm going to do it soon. Anyways, um, not that anybody cares. I had the idea to use this. The, the top two are still have, like, sewing stuff and, you know, craft stuff in them. But the three drawers here... What do you want? What? What are you crying for? What do you want? Go get it. Show me. Come on, show me. What is it you want? Show me. Well, I don't read Chihuahua Minds. I don't read Doggy Minds. Show me, boobs. Come on, booba, show me. What do you want? He wants a toy in here. He's been digging, I can tell. Boobs, what do you want, boobs? Let's see what you got. Sorry, guys. Of course, Poppy has to cut in here. Not that, because that was right at the top. So what is it that you want? Mm hmm Okay. You want your zebra? Is that what you wanted? No way. <laughs> he says, Mom, I want all of the toys out of there, please. Well, boobs. Well, I bought this for him when he was a puppy. He's never played with it, though. How about your little ball? How about your little ball? What about your peace sign? Um, your purple elephant? about him? I don't know, boobs. Alright, he seems content. Okay, guys. So, I took, it actually had four drawers. I took one out because I didn't need four. At least I didn't think I needed four. And I keep my, you know, my Canon HD camcorder um, remote down there. I keep my rings and some jewelry and you know, 
so my idea was to do like my nudes, my oranges, my corals, kind of those kind of colors in this drawer. My pinks and mauvey colors in this drawer. My purple, red, and like unique colors in this drawer. <laughs> and I started out with barely any in this drawer. Not anymore, it's overflowing. Um, my nudes... Oh, my back is killing me. Not everything is in here. You guys got to remember that I have new lipsticks that I haven't added. I don't keep my MAC lipsticks in here. I keep my MAC lipsticks in those old, like, vintage lipstick holders up there. So, here's all my nudes, oranges, corals, all that good stuff. There's a bunch down here. It's insane. What is this? Oh, it's my Smashbox. Okay. Then, this is all my pinks and mauve -y colors, most of them. Overflowing. Really pretty lip gloss. Yeah. Then in here, this is the worst drawer. Because I've been obsessed with purples lately, as it can probably show in the picture. I can't fit everything in here. So I have been... Like, under here, under all these lipsticks that are just sitting on top, it's it's organized really nicely. It's just the ones that don't fit that are on top. Which actually... Why is this in there? Mulberry Nude? This is Sonia Kashuk. That's, like, not a purple. Wouldn't you say that's kind of a nudie color? I would say so. I must have put that in the wrong... I don't know. The other one's red. Okay, anyways. You guys see my problem. Right? Just not fitting. I would like to redo my vanity area in my storage. And I cannot think of a way to store lipsticks other than in lipstick holders. And I have too many lipsticks to be buying $30 lipstick holders that hold 60 lipsticks. <laughs> I need way more than probably four or five holders. So, I have been racking my brain. You guys know that for my kit, we're going to go over here to where I film, guys. Sorry, my room is a mess right now. But for my kit... I had the idea, which I still have to go get it. I haven't had a chance to go get it yet. They have a plastic container that inside comes with 25 stackable jars like this. So I plan on getting probably about five of those. And I am going to um, take my lipsticks and, you know, um, depot them like I did with this stack into those containers so that way I can mix and match containers in my makeup artistry kit and I won't have to carry a bunch of lipstick tubes, right? Good idea. But then I'm still left with my personal lipsticks, which is a problem. A lot of my lipsticks for my kit aren't even up there. They are in my kit. So <laughs> my personal lipsticks are getting out of control. So yeah, that's one thing I could do. I could do that to all my lipsticks, and it would save me so much space. But the problem I have with that, my higher-end lipsticks, <clears throat> I know it's silly. I can't help it. My higher-end lipsticks, I just, I want to keep them in the tube, especially my MAC. Um, I love them. They're like my babies. I can't help it. I'm obsessed, right? Now, even some of my drugstore lipstick, like my Vivids, I love the packaging. A lot of these lipsticks, I love the packaging. That's my problem. I know I should only care about the product, which I do. I, I'm more worried about the product than the packaging, but a lot of my lipsticks, like my Smash, Smashbox, my Sonia Kashuk's, my Vera Wang's, my um, L's, my um, Flirt lipsticks, I want to keep them in the packaging. You know what I mean? They're nicer, higher-end lipsticks, and I just... Even some of my drugstore, I love the packaging. You know, like I was saying in another video, Drew Barrymore came out with a cosmetics line called Flower. Her packaging is beautiful. I would never want to depot those. And the lipsticks are, from what I heard, really nice. 
Um, she did like a Art Deco packaging, she said. And I just, I love it. It looks higher end. Her products really do look higher end, um, the packaging at least. So, I, you know how it is if you think the way I do with the packaging, right? So, I mean, I could do that. And these lipsticks work just the same. And it's airtight in there, so no bacteria gets in. They're, they're well, um, you know, taken care of in these packages. Nothing's going to happen to them in here. But it's just, I, you know, I guess I could do that with them and then keep, you know, my higher-end ones in the packaging. Like, that's in vogue. Oh, I love that color. So beautiful. Smells amazing. Oh, I just love it. I mean, this is a great way to keep your lipsticks, um, you know, together, color-coordinated. This is just my personal stack, but it is a great way to keep your lipsticks together. You know what I mean? I bought, like, three or four of these, and I still haven't depotted the lipsticks yet. So that is a way to do it. But I have been thinking, like, okay, I have my vanity, I have my area... I need more area. I don't have enough room in this room. If I had a house, I would have my own makeup room like I used to, but I don't anymore. So, I have to make the best of what I got, right? So, I plan on redoing this whole room before summer hits. So, I'm trying to come up with ideas to store my makeup more conveniently for me. And more conveniently you know, most importantly for me to get at for my kit for when I have gigs I gotta go on. So, I was in my, um, what's it called? My pantry. My bad. It's like a walk-in pantry. And I was actually trying to find coffee filters. And I happened to look over and I seen this and I was like, oh! <gasps> Ding, 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 ding. That might work. Now, you guys know I make jewelry. And you guys have seen my bead collection and videos, past videos. And I never thought of this. Duh. I don't know why. But uh, I, thank God I did think of it. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. I use these jewelry trays. They're actually... Um, my mom and dad owned a jewelry company. Like, business. Um... A couple years back and they used to keep and store a lot of their jewelry in these trays okay and I actually have a bunch of them that I keep my beads in right I'm gonna show you an empty one it just is a big tray that you know is square it is a wood like a hard, a hard wood very sturdy. Um, there's no top. Some of them do have tops, but I don't need a top. So, I thought, wow, that would hold a lot of lipsticks, right? There's no dividers. If I wanted dividers, I could make my own. But I'm going to fill these to the brim. I don't need dividers. The lipsticks will stay up on their own. So, at least I don't think I do. I'm going to try it first without. We have boxes and boxes of these trays. I'm talking tons of them that are empty and not being used. So I'm hoping, you know, I'll probably only need, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to do a video and show you guys once they're all full. But I, these are all recent lipsticks that I just, it's so miraculous that I just bought. And this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, let's do it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, I actually got another one of those. I don't know where they're at. Okay, so right there, that is about 39 lipsticks. Okay. So that's pretty good for it holding that many. 
Um, now the thing is, is these Maybellines, these are all my Vivids right here, and my Whispers, they are square, so it makes it very convenient to set them down like that because they sit very easily. This has a bottom that is, you know, it's flat. So most lipsticks, because I have some Revlon lip butters over here, are going to sit flat and they'll be fine. But the, um, like the Kate Moss lipsticks, her new lipsticks, and even the older ones, they have a slanted top. So obviously you can't set them down like this. In lipstick holders you could if you wanted because it'll hold it. You know what I mean? If I had dividers in here, it would hold it. But obviously you can't do that with these. So I would have to write the number like right here or the color so I would at least know. I actually seen somebody take little labels and swatch them so you knew what color of the lipstick was so that would be a good idea too same thing with the wet and wilds even the mega last i believe they have the slanted top so those lipsticks you're obviously going to want to do in a different box than these because they sit better with the same kind of lipsticks you know what i mean but i thought this would be a great idea especially the ones that have the square tops even the round ones because they're still round but they have a flat top so i should say flat top especially the ones with flat tops because the more flat and not sticking out like this like the slanted you can stack them on top of each other you know what i mean the boxes is what i'm talking about so if those weren't in there this would go you know what i mean so I could actually push these back on a shelf like that, or even in the middle there, and have them stacked on top of each other. And when I need a color, I could go in there and grab them. Now, you guys know me. If this does work out, which I think it's going to, I'm not going to keep these white. Because <laughs> you guys know, I just, I, I can't do it. So I'm going to go out and buy a couple rolls of the leopard print duct tape. Maybe even the zebra print. Probably leopard though, because most everything in my room is leopard. You know, my accent stuff. So I'm going to get leopard print duct tape, and I'm going to cover every tray I use with the leopard print duct tape. You know, just to make it cuter. So I'm thinking that this is going to work. Um, I have some empty trays in my closet that beads used to be in. And then, like I said, we have boxes and boxes of these trays downstairs. So, I'm going to grab probably about eight of them. I probably won't need that many. But, um, you know, and see. Just start filling them, and I guess when I need one, I'll go grab one. Um, but I think it's going to work. And honestly, I think these trays would actually work for a lot of things. I think that these might work for um, my drawers down there. Um, for some of my palettes, I don't know, I'm going to see, because I plan on, you know, reconstructing my vanity. It needs it. I might even move it over to by my window and move that dresser out. I don't know, I'm going to redo my whole room. When I do that, I will definitely be doing a room tour, and it will be with my Canon, not my tele or not my cell phone camcorder. But I just wanted to show you guys, because I do plan on starting to use my Canon pretty soon, guys. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys this idea, because you can actually buy these trays, um, I'm sure if you looked on eBay you could find them, um, I just got lucky that we actually have them in the house, because they're perfect for lipsticks, I mean, when I seen it, I, it was like a light went off in my head, like, ding, 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 duh, Barbie, you know, so, I, I guess I could probably even buy the dividers, because they have plastic dividers for lipsticks, but, I don't think I really need them, maybe, you know, but right now, for now, just stacking them next to each other like that, I think it'll work, you know, and it's cool because I can stack them like that with the color up and the number up so I know which is which, you know what I'm saying, but if you guys have any suggestions, I am so open to them, comment down below and let me know, you know, um, a good way to store lipstick. I've tried the drawers. I can't afford the acrylic storage units right now. I would want nothing more than Muji or whatever it's called, you know, because I really would like to store my makeup um, in the most easiest way for me. You know what I mean? And you want to keep your stuff safe because makeup's not cheap, especially if you're 
you know, obsessed like me, which I know many of you are, it's not cheap. You want to keep your stuff nice. You know what I'm saying? So especially my lipstick, they're my babies. You know that. So I need to have a way to store them so I can actually get to them. And they're, you know, because if they're not in front of me, it's like out of sight, out of mind. Okay, I'm not going to use that. You know, I need them nicely um, set up and organized. So when I'm looking for some, excuse me, I had hiccup. When I'm looking for something, I can just go grab it and I'm good to go. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I'm thinking that these trays are going to work out for a lot more than just lipsticks. But for right now, I'm happy that I thought of it just for the lipsticks because I was going crazy looking online, looking on YouTube, and it was all the same, people making the lipstick holders, and I'm crafty, but not that crafty. I got so confused when I tried to make the lipstick holder, I kept making the measurements wrong, and oh, I got so frustrated, I just threw the stuff across the room. So, um, another good way would be, um, MAC boxes, like the boxes you get when MAC sends you your products in the mail. I've saved most of mine those are good to cut the top off of or even keep the top on and stack your lipsticks in those too. Um, actually, I might have thrown out some of them. If I would had enough, I would use those as well. But I just seen these and I was like, wow, these trays will fit quite a bit. I mean, it's already got almost 40 lipsticks and it only took up that little amount of room. So imagine, I might only need a couple of these, you know. Well, I guess if that's 30 then yeah I probably have I'm kind of curious to know how many lipsticks I own as well so that'll be interesting to find out too so yeah I just wanted to go show you guys this quick little lipstick storage idea and you know I guess any little boxes like that box that I had on my vanity that had my perfume in it that would be good for lipsticks as well you know I guess if you use your uh, imagination you can pretty much you know, come up with some cool ways to store your makeup and nail polishes and stuff. So I, um, you know, I still regret it. I went to a garage sale last summer and I was actually at an estate sale of a beautician. She was, you know, a hairdresser and she had a professional nail polish rack that she kept in her shop and she was only selling it for $10 and... I kept thinking, I need to buy that. I need to buy that. I need that. I, I just, I need that. And I don't know why I didn't buy it, but I freaking didn't. Like an idiot. And that would have been perfect. It, I mean, it was one that you hung on the wall. One that you would see in salons, you know. And it was amazing for $10. She was just trying to get rid of stuff. I actually got quite a few really nice makeup bags from her. I think, no, my leopard bag wasn't from her. I don't, I got a couple from her. Um, she had some nice stuff. Some of it was way overpriced, though, um, especially makeup-wise. So I just, you know, I passed. But I really, the nail polish rack was a good price. I should have got it. I don't know why I did it. But anyways, guys, this video is already 23 minutes long, and I know I've probably already bored you enough. But, um, like I said, if you have any suggestions on makeup storage, it doesn't just have to be for lipsticks. It can be for lip glosses, it can be for palettes, it can be for um, eyeshadows, you know, quads, it can be for foundations, concealers, lip pencils, eyeliners, um, you know, primers, brushes even, anything that has to do with beauty products. Um, let me know down below. Because even if you have a video that has like that kind of thing in it, you can even like leave it as a video response down below. I'm just really interested to know because I'm really wanting to change my whole vanity and even my bathroom, you know, my, my uh, closet area. This summer I'm actually going to be looking for a vanity, like the waterfall vanities with the big round mirrors. That's what I want for my room so bad. Um, but yeah. So let me know, guys. Let me know suggestions down below if you have any, any tips, anything like that. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this long, drowned out, boring video. I'm sure it was probably pretty boring. But I just wanted to show you guys that I think I had come up with something and I was kind of excited about it. So, like I said, I love you guys. I will see you soon. 
And stay tuned because I still have my Candy Yum Yum review and comparison video coming up. I know I've been saying that for probably about six or seven videos. I did it already, but I have to redo it because I received some new lipsticks that are close in color that I want to add into the review and comparison. So that'll be coming up soon. I was going to film it tonight, but this is like my fifth video filming, so I'm tired. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, probably go smoke a cigarette, I know it's bad, cuddle with Poppy, watch a movie, and go to bed. Because it's like, uh, probably like 3 in the morning. Alright guys, love ya, see you later, bye! Mwah.